Hi guys, good morning. It is July 4th. Happy July 4th to everybody out there. My family, my friends, I love you all so very much. My subs, hopefully everybody's getting ready to enjoy this beautiful night. Independence Day, July 4th. And lots of food and fun and family and all that good stuff. So of course I'm in my kitchen early in the morning and I'm going to give you a quick little view of what I'm cooking today. Like I said yesterday, I'm keeping it very simple. It's just me and my family here and my kiddos and that's pretty much it. And their little friends on the block. Okay, so if you watched my video yesterday, you'll know about the soup that I like my soup a certain way. And I'm going to show you how I add the two more simple ingredients that I like. As I was saying with the egg as well. And um, I'm a big egg person. I love my eggs. I got to have my eggs in the morning. Not every day, but most days. All right, so I'm going to give you, I'm going to cut this so I can do a flip side on my phone so you can see what I'm cooking today and I can explain everything to you guys. I cannot wait to do this deliciousness a little later today. All right, guys, so one sec. Okay guys, so here's the Limpton soup, the same soup in a box, simple cooking, what I showed you guys yesterday, the chicken flavor noodle. Okay, so the way I like it, I like to add, of course I did the potatoes, these are the potatoes, and I like to add in some onion, a little bit of onion. Onion is very good for you, as you know, especially if you're sick. Oh. Then I also add in two eggs, and I basically just crack the eggs right into the into the pot. So I let that sizzle for a little bit with the potatoes. So good, look at that, yummy, yummy. A little bit salt, pepper, of course. And this is some good stuff. Yeah, I very much need this this morning. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and sit my phone on this uh, my curry holder thing, as you know, so you can see me do the eggs very quickly. And then we're gonna get to my deliciousness today. In that way. All right. Okay, here we go. Perfect. All right. So I basically I'm, I'm just doing two eggs two fresh eggs okay and I just throw them in there just like if you're doing almost like a ramen noodle I, I've done this plenty of times check out my uploads I have a lot of uh, ramen noodle soup that I've done this way as well however this is just a limptum soup from a box that you could do as well and just make it your own and something so simple that you could put together for something so good and I just turn it up a little bit and I make sure that I put a lid on it as well. No, wait, let me just move this a sec. And you wanna keep a lid on it for about three minutes tops. So I'm gonna push this bad boy back here because it's already warm, so of course you don't wanna overcook your eggs or anything like that. And then there you have it. I'm sorry, I had to push it back over here. My burner in the front is a little wet from all the stuff I have on my counter here. All right, so, hmm. So yeah, you just wanna put a little lid on it and um, I'm just gonna throw this on top and let it rock out on a medium low, okay, medium low. And that's it, you got yourself at some chives on top or some parsley flakes. I do chives because the chives really pops out on soup. You can actually smell it and it gives it a lot of nice flavor to the uh, liquid. So however, that's how you do it. Very simple, one, two, three. Um, so I'm just doing a plain Jane soup this morning and I'm gonna show you that in a little bit. However, let me tell you what I got going on today, okay? And like I told you guys yesterday, I'm keeping it very, very simple in my kitchen. Okay, and I do have my daughter's breakfast here. I did her a nice little bowl of eggs, a couple slices of bread, toast, but something very simple just so I can get the cooking for later. Um, okay, so I have rusted potatoes back here. Get my chives ready for over here. And I have uh, red potatoes here. I have two yellow cooking onion. I have two tomatoes on a vine. 
I have a whole uh, clunk of garlic, garlic cloves. I have a can of uh, or organic uh, corn. I have sliced beets. I have three cans of the pinto beans. And these are guisada, meaning they're already marinated and lovely olive oil and all that good stuff. You guys see me prep this a lot. I have three cans of those. And this is my key to my beans today. It is the salsicha goya. My mom used to cook a bean a certain way. So I'm doing something that my mama taught me years ago. And it's with this uh, salsicha. I've been holding off to make this uh, delicious bean so I can show you guys how delicious this is. Super delicious. My mom used to make this a lot at home when we were kids. So I was excited when I found this. Um, and that's pretty much it. Okay, I am doing a simple potato salad with some Spanish olives, also with some Spam. Where are we at over here? Okay, so I have my Spam light. I'm doing a, a potato salad with some Spam. I have my drumsticks for the grill. And I have my big chunk of ham over here that I'm adding in a little bit into my beans and a little bit into the salad as well. So it's gonna be a whole little mix twist. Like I said, I'm trying to use everything up in my kitchen before I do groceries this week. And um, just cleaning out my everything. All right, guys, so there you have it. There's my baby bear. <laughs> <laughs> hiding okay I'm um, sorry here baby you can get your breakfast here you go babe <laughs> you're welcome sweetie okay <laughs> she's getting ready to get ready to have fun out back so yeah we're doing everything a little bit later we're already in the afternoon ish so um, yeah we're gonna get this done I'm gonna get the cooking and get myself ready and beautified and cannot wait tonight till tonight to check out those uh, fireworks to actually take a walk down there with the kiddos and all that good stuff all right guys so don't miss it coming up is my simple soup that I told you I was gonna uh, go ahead and post so you guys can just check it out with the beautifulness of it and the healthiness of it especially on days like this morning alrighty 